Okay. Um, so Lisa is um, doing a great job. She is launching this um, program that is called Better Than Ever. And it's a group coaching program. And Lisa says that she is sending out short videos um, and or emails to individuals. She's running an email campaign. She's offering better than ever strategy sessions, which are sales calls and scheduling talks um, and scheduling talks with this as her call to action. What else would you suggest? So this is right in the spot of our call today when things got really sketchy. So we're kind of like starting fresh here. So um, Lisa, I was, I would recommend um, sending snail mail invitations. If you go to Vistaprint, um, you can print some really great looking invitations for next to nothing. And um, yeah, send, send something in snail mail and invite them and put the deadline on there and put a link on there. And then maybe even put um, a sticky note on top of it with a handwritten thing that's like, you know, Sally would love for you to join us type thing. Um, another thing, like i I wanted to ask you today, like, how is that going? Are you having good luck with that? We're going to work. You have joined Accelerator, which I'm thrilled about. So I'm going to be able to really work with you and go deep with you on this. But uh, just off the top of my head, um, this is the, this, uh, if you have time to pull it together, a free workshop is a great way to then, um, you know, to maybe cover something like right here that really piques everybody's interest, teaches them something or whatever, you know, maybe along the lines of one of your paid workshops that you did. Um, and recently I think you did a paid workshop and then um, present this to great question, Iota. Um, and then present this to your, um, to the people who attend your workshop, upsell them into this group, into this group um, program. Uh, you could do, especially since we, it's getting to, you know, it's back to school time. So it's, well, in our minds it is anyway. Um, so it's a great time to start, you know, it's, it, it's the second new year, right? We've got January and we've got the fall. And that is when it's a great time to start talking about planning. So it could be that you do a content planning workshop or, um, you know, if vision boarding is your thing, a vision boarding workshop, those sort of like clean slate, like let's do something. And then, you know, they get it, they get, um, and this is for your cold traffic, people who don't really know you yet, they get a taste of you and they're like, wow, I want to hang out with her some more. This is amazing. Um, so, but I don't know if you, you know, how you feel about, about that. But now that you've become so adept and good at live streaming, I think you could just whip something up and, and just go live with it, you know, why not? Uh, okay. And to Nyota's question, how do you ask people for their mailing addresses? So there are um, lots of ways. So right now, practically speaking, like if you just want to get something out right now um, and you know that you want to email, you know, these 30 people, I would send them an email and just say, hey, I'm going to start sending old fashioned snail mail and, um, you know, if you're interested, I'm going to be sending out some good stuff um, and then just make a Google form that collects their email address. And then that will automatically go over to a spreadsheet. And I did a whole blog post or plot or I did a whole podcast episode about this. So I'll link you to that, Nyota, because um, my brain is a little fried right now, but there are so many ways to start getting people's email snail mail addresses. And I highly recommend doing that as often as you can. So when you sign up a new client, when you get on a coaching call even, or if you have a membership site or a course, right when they sign up, like when they give you their name, their email, whatever else, not a bad idea to put a little email, a little um, sentence that says, uh, I love to surprise my clients from time to time with handwritten notes and gifts, um, newsletters, whatever. And then get them to to do that and just start, you know, start thinking about that now, trying to get people. But one dedicated email announcing that you're going to start sending out a physical newsletter um, will will get you started. 
and uh, and then you could start with your live streams and everything and your your stories start highlighting your um your your snail mail and be like look oh I, this newsletter is about to go out if you guys want one you know hit me up and i'll add you to the list and you'll get one okay 